Hello, I'm Deborah Short, President of TESOL International this year, 2020 to 2021. Like many of you, I've been working from home for a few weeks now and experiencing some cabin fever. But I hope you are well and your family, friends, and colleagues are too. The world looks and feels very different now compared to a year ago or even a month ago. We face immediate needs and new realities, but we can't let the coronavirus overshadow our reason for being T-Solars. We can find strength in our global community of English language teaching professionals. I was really disappointed that we couldn't hold our convention in Denver last month, and I'm sure many of you were too. It would have been great to greet old friends and make new ones, to attend sessions, to visit the exhibit hall in the TESOL bookstore. You know, it's odd, but I even miss having aching feet after a long day of walking around the convention center. It's true we lost our opportunity to meet in physical space, but we can connect in cyberspace. And in fact, I have great news to share. We'll be holding our virtual convention in July. And over several days, you can join us for hundreds of sessions, a virtual expo with many exhibitors, keynotes, chat rooms, and much more. It's the start of a year of online connections that our councils, affiliates, intersections, and PLNs will lead. And in my role as president this year, I hope to help TESOL focus on three key areas, member engagement, global advocacy, and research. Regarding member engagement, we have a new membership professional council. They will look at ways to recruit and retain members and more importantly, enhance our experience. One key activity is the new member mentoring program, which we will launch this year. For global advocacy, I'm hoping we can build on the success of our Advocacy Action Center, which has been used mostly for US issues to date. But we can broaden its reach with your help. Please give your input. Go to our webpage on advocacy and complete the survey. Tell us about the important issues in your context and how TESOL can help you advocate for yourself, your learners, and your programs. And on the subject of research, I want to acknowledge that we do a great job disseminating research. We have the TESOL Quarterly, TESOL Journal, and many professional books. We move research into practice too, with our workshops, webinars, and online courses. What I'd like to explore this year is how TESOL can support more original research, perhaps in partnership with some like-minded groups. Let me close here and express how proud I am to be a member of TESOL at this time. I'm lucky to work with dedicated, creative and skilled members of our staff and board of directors, with our volunteer leaders and communities of practice, and with all of you. I know that TESOL will rise to meet the challenges ahead of us, and I look forward to working with you to ensure that we do. After all, we are TESOL strong.